Ah, they pop up screen again. Nope, no more. Hi, I'm Jorge, and in this video, I will guide you through the best way to import and map the x light effects from your recent download sequence to your layout. Whether the sequences have been purchased from a vendor or download from a sharing drive, the same has to go through the import and mapping to your display layout process. But before, let me explain to you that I discovered this procedure on my own. It's different, it's probably incorrect, but it works for me, so it will work for you. Let's take a look on how I do accomplish this task. I do already download the sequence from IGB sequence and the mp3 file from Amazon, both links on the description, and unzip extract the files to my subfolder called tutorials in the downloaded sequence folder. Um, in the x -like sequencer window, uh, we'll be looking to create a new sequence. This could be accomplished just clicking on this icon or go to file new sequence or using the shortcut ctrl n if you like to when the new sequence start you will you will be asking to select what type of sequence you'll be working on so in this case we're going to work in the musical sequence that will be open your file your file system so you just gotta go back again to the location or you recently downloaded mp3 file um, sequence which in my case is tutorials double click on top of this of the mp3 file or you just can click and hit open either or we work for you so now it will ask you to set up the timing for your sequence um, you can pick choose or customize your your timing i use 20 frames per second uh, it usually tends to work a lot better, deal less uh, problems on data transferring or lagging issues as we call it. So um, and the next step will be select the type of view. So I'm just going to do a quick start. You can just play with this option too, but we are basically new around this. So just let's go do a quick start. Um, then we're going to we're gonna be looking back again in through the sequence sequencer window and now here at the top of the sequencer effect so we will be looking at we got the music file waveform right here to the left side have my mother's group I have a whole bunch of groups um, all my mothers below here but I notice here on the sequence tab that everything is blank well that's because we just have the music now now we're going to import our effects so that could be accomplished coming here to the import tab select import effects um, again you will be directed to the folder where your sequence was downloaded Open here and we you we be looking for and you will be looking for your sequence file which could be a dot xml or dot fs eq file so we're gonna or double click or we just click it and hit open either way works and that brings you us to the map channel window now let the phone begin okay let me explain here to the left side this is your layout this is your mothers mother groups subgroups this is your layout here to the right the available mo mothers and effects are the, the layout from the sequence that you just import well now we're gonna match the best we can their mothers toward our mothers. Okay. Remember, it would be very nice that we we can see the video of how the sequence is laid out um, on other mothers, but unless you 
don't get your sequin from a vendor, from a pay vendor, I should say. Uh, chances are that you will not gonna see the video how the things are laid out. So, hey, nothing fun with experimenting. So, this is all about it. So let's go continue here. So, arches, I don't have Boscoyo spinner, I don't have a second sp spinner. So I'm just gonna jump into the floodlights. Yes, I have floodlights. Um, I imagine this is a, a group of floodlights, so I'm just gonna put it all here with all my floodlights. Um, house outlines, yes, I have a house outline. So it's here, uh -huh. all verticals. Yes, I also have verticals. Um, it's this one. I do not have matrix, but I do have a mega tree. So I just map it to Mega 3. Um, my Mega 3 star is called Spinner, which is down here. Um, I don't have mini trees, stars or mini trees, but I do have uh, a group of stakes. Uh, let me see how this looks in group. Go map the mini trees on the stakes. Um, snowflakes. Mm. Well, my Boscoyo Chroma Flakes, probably the same. So let me put this on here. Um, spider trees, yes, I have. We have a set of spider trees uh, on our layout. So let's go review it again, real quick. Now everything looks pretty cool. Uh, this, well. The extra ones, if you have a matrix, you just add it to your matrix or your spinner thing like that. Before we say the mapping, let me show you something that we can do in case you have um, the same model three or four times, but their layout just have it once. <laughs> By example, so I want to bring the access effects in through. into my Boscoyo Chroma Flex. So where well, I already used the arches here, so it's gray out. But the only thing you need to do is just click and drag it again. And you can continue dragging it in through the, in through the models that you really liked. Now you want to change or, or delete the model that you just mapped. You just gotta just click it, drag it back to the list. Click, drag it back to the list and so on. Let's go continue. Go save the mapping. So we select save mapping. Um, we're gonna find figure out where we're gonna save the mapping for this new layout. Now we are in a downloaded folder. So I have a folder called map, which is where I save my mappings. So you're gonna write down a name for your mapping, a mapping new, mapping whatever. I'm just gonna put a mapping tutorial. gonna hit save and now we're ready go because we already save it and we're gonna hit ok bang so now looking on the again on the sequencer window effects uh, tab here or effects board we see that now our groups get populated with the with the effects that comes in with the mapping. See that all of them just go there and resume from point A to point B. Um, three minutes some three minutes some seconds of the sun. Everything lay out pretty nicely. So the next thing we need to do it is render. The render button is this part that if this icon that looks like a painter's palette, you just click it. It's a good time to hit the like and subscribe button. If you like what you're seeing here, um, leave a quick comment or at least start thinking of the comment that you will be leaving below. Go wait a couple seconds until the renders get done. But I get done, but now we got our icon back. Let's go see how it looks. So for that, we're gonna open up 
house preview when we play and we got the sequence playing now I'm moving up and down oops let me pause here real quick mega 3 is all full red this is because the faces are not being defined in our mega 3 layout faces section but that is another subject uh, so let's go continue here so now that that we have reviewed our new sequence that we're happy with it we see how the effects is map and they look very nice so we're gonna save that we're gonna give you a name so to save it you can use all the save as icon or you just go to file save as and you pick uh, you gotta pick your show folder so in my case it is uh, sequences 2020 Christmas and you're gonna give me a name here so my name is light tutorial hit save that be all for for this i do hope these simple instructions help you to have your sequence ready for this season and that your display gets the extra bling you're looking for remember that is other videos on how to perform a similar tax here on the platform let me know your importing method below in the comments section do not forget like and subscribe adios